Hey, hey, guys and gals, it's me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose, back with another edition of Giant Machines 2017. So you guys have uh, really been enjoying this series, and so I got in contact with the guys at Playway, and they're going to give us some keys to give away. So stick around a little bit, I'll tell you how you can win a copy of Giant Machines 2017. Now, in our last episode, remember we ran from some tornadoes and a big giant uh, dump truck. We also cleared some snow with a bulldozer. So what are we doing today? Well, let's find out. We'll jump over to the missions, and it shows us that today we are doing radioactive truffles. What does that mean? We are headed to McGregor Forest Uranium Mine in Saskatchewan, Canada to confirm the quality of uranium ore. All right, cool. Well, let's check it out. We have to confirm the quality of the uranium ore here. Otherwise, all our work might have been in vain. <laughs> Get it? Oh, might have been in vain. Ore, mine, vain. Chuckle, chuckle. Uh. Unfortunately, the hydraulic excavator was damaged during transport. Uh, Fortunately, I know a repair specialist. This guy. Remove the damaged hoses from the hydraulic excavator arm. All right, we can do that. Thank you, Tex. All right, so here we are in Canada. That's just weird looking. How bizarre. It looks like one of those little minion dudes. <laughs> All right, so we're in a little workshop area, I guess, or a tent of some sort. Got some batteries here. I'm betting we're gonna need those in a little bit. And there is our hydraulic excavator. The T-Rex, the RV 600. It looks really, really good. They've done a good job with it. I gotta say, I'm really liking this game. I really do. Um, it's got good graphics. I mean, look around. The sounds are good. I mean, as we walk around, we're we're crunching snow. We're we're not leaving footprints, but we're crunching snow. And the gameplay is fun. I mean, some of the stuff in it's not necessarily realistic, but I don't think that's the audience they're going after. So, you know, they're wanting to make a game that's fun. Is kind of the way I feel and. I'm digging it. I'm having a good time playing it. All right, so we got to remove these lines. Take the damaged hoses to the repair table and use right. the available tools to bring them back to life. All right, we could do that. But I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's called a simulation, but it's not necessarily a simulation. That Dan hit the nail on the head the other night when we were talking. And he's like, yeah, it's a simulation, but it's not a simulator. And that kind of brought it home. I mean, like, you drive a car in GTA, so you're simulating driving a car, but it's not a simulator. It's just an arcade game that you have fun with. And this is the same way. I mean, look, we're repairing a hose using a crescent wrench or a ratchet wrench, a little oil super. And it sounds like a hammer. Seems legit, right? <laughs> Reliable as always. Go on and connect the repaired hoses in the right spot. Alrighty. Which, I mean, like a part of this game, I really don't feel like you need to go through all this. I mean, I want to run giant machines. I don't want to repair giant machines. But they added that in to give it a little gameplay, and that's cool. All right, so we'll run up here, get to the top, and insert our hoses. To start up the machine, you need to go through the start sequence. All right. First, connect the battery and set the correct voltage. All right. Second, turn on the electric and hydraulic circuits using the lever. Mm -hmm. And third, raise up the electric stairs to avoid damaging them during operation. Gotcha. Battery circuit stairs. We can do this. I bet if we jump down, we die. So let's not do that. Jump back up here. 
I see a little diamond. There we go. I see circuits, no battery. And I did see the battery in the tent. So let's run over here and grab a battery. Because if you remember from our last episode, they said they don't store the batteries uh, in the vehicles. They store them outside because the charges would drain off of them. So, oh, there we go. All right, now we got to do the whole little puzzle game here to get the voltage right. So, like a soul. Uh, like a soul. Like so. Oh, there we go. All right. Then there. And that. Stair level down up. There we go. So the stair level is climbing. And voila. There All indicators are green. That means the hydraulic excavator is ready to work. Start the engines and begin crushing the ice walls, blocking access to the ore. All right, now we get into the good stuff. Let's go. I guess we should close the door back. And we'll jump into the cab here. Oh, that's cool. It has a door on it. Everything else has just kind of teleported us into the cab. All right, so here's our little seat here. All right, so there's our sat phone. As always, uh, so control brings up the uh, the controls, and as you see, it's pretty much the same. So X starts the engine. We hit P to turn the radio off because I don't want it on. Space bar is gonna take off the uh, handbrake, which sounds like the handbrake out of like a Toyota. All right. Uh, what else we got? Uh, operator controls with the tab. So W and S is boom up. R and F is arm up and down. T and G rotate the bucket. And we open and close the bucket with the mouse. Let's check her out. Raise her up. Lower it down. Flex that big arm. Rotate that in a little like so. Oh, yeah. She's a beast. All right, let's pull her up here. And we'll start taking down this wall. I see it like a little light flashing. It's almost like it's telling you where to take it down at. So we will roll up here and uh, take a snap at it or take a swipe at it. Oh, yeah. Cutting out some of that ice. Uh, let's see. F floors it back down. Rotate over here a little bit. And there we go. Take that back down. Need to take out a little bit on the other side, maybe. Rotate over here a little bit. Oh, yeah, we're taking her down. How far over do we go? It looks like that's about as far over as we should go. Yeah, it doesn't go any further than that. All right, so take that out. Did we go far enough to the right? Or left, I mean, did my other right. Oh yeah, we're gonna take some of that out too. Okay, rotate that down. Drop that arm down a little bit. So uh, let's see. S. Do the same thing over again. Dig out some more of that wall. There we go.
Rotating in over this side. Oh, careful. One thing I learned when I was doing with the shears, you got to be careful on this stuff. If you put too much torque on the arm, you can actually snap it. So we've got to watch that out a little bit. Oh, look at we can dump ice out of there. That's kind of cool. I mean, like I said, they modeled all the details on it. So it's kind of cool uh, when you're doing this stuff. Now we, then again, we just dumped the ice right back down to where we were breaking it from. So that's probably not that good, but. All right, so let's bring that down a little bit more. And we should be able to dig a little bit more out of here. Oh, kind of pushed us back a little bit. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah, I'll just drop it right back where I was taking it from. No big deal. All right, so we're getting this cleared out. Nice. So let's bring that back in a little bit. So let's try a combo move. We're going to go out and down with the main arm at the same time. And uh, see if we can reach a little bit deeper in there. Oh, got to be careful. I saw that head wiggling and jiggling a little bit. Let's raise it up some. Oh, it looks like it's, it definitely looks pinched. So let's retract a little bit. Got away with one there. I think we were close to breaking the arm. She was a she was a spinning a little bit. Alright, let's move over to this side. See if we can get a little bit more off of this side here. Really hard to see what you're doing a little bit. Now the same thing must Ooh. be done on the west wall. We need at least two samples for the research to give reliable results. All right, so side one is clear. We got to go do it again on the other side. Let's raise our bucket. Let's dump all our ice dust out of it. And we're good to go. All right, so click your into reverse. Oh my gosh, we are flying. Got to get rid of that pressure. Remember, that's one thing that we got to watch. Our battery's getting real low, though. That's odd. Maybe our alternator's not working. It should have an alternator on this beast, shouldn't it? All right. So you sort of see the white lines flashing there, I guess. That's the area that we got to break through. So let's try to center ourselves up between that area there. All right, come on back. So yeah, like I was saying earlier, while we're taking this slow caterpillar crawl, um, the guys at Playways have given me a few keys for the game to give away through Steam. And uh, so this week, I'm going to give you guys a chance to win the game. And all you got to do is, uh, we're going to keep it real simple. I don't want to make it complicated. But what I want you to do is make a comment about the game in the, uh, in the comments below. So what do you like about the game? Tell me what you like about the game. And uh, just make sure you include Giant Machines 2017 in your comment. And if you do comment and you put that in your comment, I will take that as... You want to enter in the drawing to win. And then um, we'll let it run for a week. And uh, then we'll announce a winner a week from today. So 
yeah, if you guys want to win yourself a copy of Giant Machines, uh, make sure you go ahead and comment below. And again, like I said, just tell me what you like about the game. And, um, and then I'll get you in the drawing. And basically, it'll just be a random drawing like I normally do. Um, I'll, uh, ooh, there we go. Taking out some more of the wall. I'll, um, I'll do the whole number generation thing and uh, pick a name, uh, pick a few numbers, or let the number generator pick a few numbers, and then um, I'll see whose name corresponds to those numbers, and those people will get the game. So you got a week to enter. We'll, uh, let's see, this is Wednesday. So I'll announce the, the winners next Wednesday. Uh, what is that? It's like the uh, the 11th, 10th, 11th, something like that. So we'll announce the winners right around there. And uh, good luck, guys. All right. I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other side. I'm going to take up the top, bring it down. And then we'll take out a little bit more, uh, rotate around, we'll do the same thing on the other side until we punch all the way through this thing. I think a swipe about the size of the bucket is about what you, you want to do. I think any bigger than that and you might have some, some pressure issues with this thing. Oops, twisting a little bit on me. Uh, let's not do that. Gotta be careful with it. If it breaks, you gotta start all over again. You don't wanna do that. I learned that the hard way with that mission that we did the other day. I was not a happy camper. So let's come on down a little bit more. Good low. All right, we're having some issues here. There we go. Punch on through, 78%. Seems to be catching up a little bit on us though. Alright, let's move over here a little bit. Right about there looks good. Now that the walls are down, yes. we can take the samples of uranium, put on the protective suit, and gather no. some pieces of ore. No, I don't want to glow. Seriously? Oh, not good. All right, so let's raise that up. Dump out all our ice out of there. And rotate that back down. Battery is low. Yeah, I don't get that. You would think there's an alternator or something running this thing, right? I mean, doesn't the battery start the generator and then the generator runs all the electric and the hydraulics and everything else like that? See, you would think it would be like putting power back into the battery. Odd. All right, well, let's put our Toyota handbrake on. And we'll turn the engine off and we'll jump out of this beast and we'll go get our uh, our body condom on. We got to put the stairs down. 
So let's put the stairs down. Yeah, the hazmat suit. Here we go. I don't want my family jewels glowing, you know what I mean? I'm still young. So now we're going to become a minion. Uh, this is wrong. Luke, I am your father. Okay, this is odd. Let's get this done quick. So we got to go in here and we got to collect a rock sample. Oh, I see it. It's a glowing egg. Quick. Let's get out of here before we uh, all of a sudden die of radiation. All right. We got to take it into the little triangle, which is this box here. Uh, e. All right. There's one. Yep. Got one in there. Let's go get the other one. Uh, oh, there's the other kryptonite. Uh oh. I gotta get out of here. All right, back to the base. Come on, before we run out of oxygen or something. All of a sudden that guy goes. <gasps> Are we in? We're not in. Yeah, the oh. eggheads at the lab will take oh, care of Oh, get it out rest. of my hands. Is that me or are you looking a bit more green mm, than I'd usual? like to slap him right about now. All right, what's next? Oh, we're done. Nice. All right, so that was our, what, radioactive truffle or whatever? Very cool. All right, guys, well, that is today's mission. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, remember, if you want yourself a copy of uh, Giant Machines 2017, make sure you leave a comment below and just say uh, something about the game, what you like, and include Giant Machines 2017 in there, and I will do a drawing in one week. So uh, a week from Wednesday, uh, which, okay, today is the 5th, so that would make it the 12th, right? So uh, go ahead and submit your entries, and I will see you next week, and we'll give it away. Or is that yeah, 6th, 12th? Yep, okay. So uh, on the 12th, I will give it away, and uh, we'll give away three copies of it. So go ahead and enter, and uh, good luck to you guys. And thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you smash that thumbs up for me. It helps me out tremendously. Uh, until the next time, guys, as always, stay safe. Have a great day, and I'll see you in our next episode. Bye-bye. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, I hope you consider giving it a like, maybe even sharing it with your friends. It does help me out a tremendous amount and is greatly appreciated. Also, leave some comments down below. That's really the only way I can gauge if you guys are enjoying what's being put out. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want daily notifications. I try to do a new video each and every day. Also, if you want to stay in touch with me and find out what's going on, our social links are down in the bottom left-hand corner. Twitter is where I usually announce schedule changes, live streams, and new video releases. Facebook's a great way to get in touch with me if you have any questions to ask. And, of course, I am trying to get to 1,000 followers on Google+, Plus, which I know I'll probably be old and gray before that happens. But if you can jump over there and follow me, it would be super awesome. So if you like today's video, there's a whole lot more content on the channel. I hope you'll browse through it. Find something to keep yourself entertained until the next video or live stream. Speaking of live streams... I try to do them nightly around 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Until the next time, thanks again for watching. See you soon.